Hi, in this video I want to share with you a very simple five-step process that you can take or use to solve any problem sum. Isn't that great? Yes, as you can see, you can s C, K, C, N, S, U. Would you want to try to pronounce it? Some children told me, Kensu. It sounds weird. So, let me first share with you what does K means. As you can see in this slide, K stands for keyword. C stands for concept. And what I really meant by concept is the problem sum concept. For example, guess and check is one of the 12 concepts that your child must know by the time that he reaches P6. Next, N. Would you want to guess? Without N, it's not a math question. Yes, you are right. N stands for number. Next, have you ever seen your kid writing many steps and without any labeling? And sometimes when you ask him what does this specific step mean, he looks confused. So, in order to avoid future confusion like this, you would want to write statements beside every single step. Next, what about you? In some schools, it's pretty strict. Without you, they will not only minus off half mark, but they will minus off one mark. And U stands for? Again, write units. Having said this, K sin N S U is very hard to pronounce. Yeah, some children attempted to pronounce it and call it Kansu. But in times of anxiety during the examination, it's very hard to remember what does K C N S U mean. So we have created a simple story that can help your child remember it perhaps for life. Can you see? Kittens can never swim underwater? A lot of times when we say this, this put a smile on the child's face and thus reducing the level of anxiety. So next time instead of trying very hard to remember keyword concept number statement units, get your child to remember it in a fun way. Kittens can never swim underwater.